hi guys welcome back to the course and in this video we will create the basic structure of the project so first of all let's go to the downloads folder as you remember that we downloaded bootstrap in the last video so we will extract bootstrap inside the downloads folder and we will copy some files from the bootstrap so extract and here it is so now let's copy all the folders from the bootstrap and now we will go to our project folder which is inside c xamp htdocs and here it is blog cms i have actually deleted the file that we created in the last video so we will paste all the folders which we copied from the bootstrap so now go to the css folder and delete all the files except this one and delete it and now now go to the js folder and delete both of these files and we only want this one bootstrap.js file so now let's create the folders of the project the first one will be admin this folder will actually contain all the admin files and the next one will be includes and i think now that's it for the folders part now we will have to create the files as well so for creating files let's open the notepad plus plus so let's create a php file and save it inside the project directory so let's go to computer oops c xamp htdocs and blog cms now let's save it as index.php and save now let's create a new file by clicking this icon here click it and let's copy everything from the previous file paste and now let's save this file as single.php and the next file will be oops save it results.php and index.php will be the default file of the uh, website i mean the uh, home page of the website and single.php file will be used to display the single post page and results.php will show the results page so if the user searches anything on the website uh, after searching we will go to the results.php page so that's why we are creating it now let's create the uh, files inside the includes folder so let's create a new file and save it inside the includes folder the name will be db.php and let's create another file and the name will be let's paste the code first and now let's save it as config.php actually db.php will contain the database connection which we will use to connect to the database and config.php will contain the uh, constants which we will use to connect to the database so db.php will use config.php so now let's create some more files in the admin area so do we save and let's we have we are already inside the includes folder so let's create a new file header.php another file paste the code and save this file as footer.php and create another one 
and I think that will be the last one so paste save save it as sidebar.php so save it and now I think we are done with the front-end files now we have to create the files for the admin area so we will copy some of the files from the front end so we will copy js includes fonts css and we will paste all of these files inside the admin area so paste them and we will be creating more files in the admin area but for now it's okay so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next one